Shalom, beloved. A word. In the book of Luke, chapter 2, we find, find that the angel is telling the shepherds that Mary laid Yeshua HaMashiach in the manger. As a matter of fact, I'm going to read it literally. All right. We'll start in book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 33. He shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Talking about Yeshua HaMashiach. Now we're in the book of Luke, chapter 2, verse 7. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the end. Again, second chapter of Luke, verse 7. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room in the end. Firstborn son. He is, we know that Yeshua HaMashiach became the perfect sacrifice, that lamb, that spot without blemish, that went into the Holy of Holies once and for all to pay that sacrificial sin sacrifice, the sin offering, to take away the sins of all who believe in him. Now, let's go back to where Mary laid him. Let's go back to the book of Luke, chapter 2, verse 7. And she brought forth her firstborn son, like a firstborn male sheep, hmm. and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the end. The book of Luke is the only one that speaks of Yeshua HaMashiach being laid in a manger. Now, again, we know that the word of life is abundant. It is full. The word of the Most High is pregnant. It is figurative and it is literal. The word itself is figurative and literal. Before Yeshua HaMashiach came, that perfect lamb without spot or blemish, we know that in the temple, they used firstborn males, male lamb, without spot or blemish as sin sacrifice. And the priest would offer them. Now, here's another thing. Newborn lambs would be wrapped tightly, swaddled in specially des de des designated temple cloths. And they would be laid in a manger to keep them contained while they were being examined for blemishes. Hmm. At the appointed time, the shepherds would separate the lamb, selecting only the firstborn male. Let's go back and see what Mary did. Book of Luke chapter 2, verse 7. And she brought forth her firstborn son, a male, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the end. Firstborn, male. Now, at the appointed time, the shepherds would also separate the lamb, selecting only the firstborn male that were without mark or blemish and would lead them to Jerusalem where they would be purchased by people wanting to present a sacrifice before the Lord to atone for their sins. Hmm. Where would they keep these lambs? Wait a minute. The newborn lambs would be wrapped tightly, swaddled mm -hmm. in specially designated temple cloths and would be laid in a manger to keep them contained while they were being examined for blemishes. Hmm. 
At the appointed time, the shepherds would separate the lambs, selecting only the firstborn males that were without mark or blemish and would lead them to Jerusalem where they would be purchased by people wanting to present a sacrifice before the Lord to atone for their sins. Okay. Hmm. Sound familiar? Here is the Lamb of God, the Lamb of Yahuwah, laying in a manger and swaddling clothes and swaddling cloth without mark or blemish, firstborn male. Just like the lambs, he is called the Lamb of God. He is called the Lamb of Yahuwah. He did sacrifice himself to take away the sins of the world. But in the times of the temple, that's exactly what they did with the firstborn male lambs. They swaddled them. They put them in mangers to keep them safe from harm, to check them for spot or blemish. If they had none, they kept them there to make sure they didn't get any mark or blemish on them so they were suitable for sacrifice. It was also they were swaddled to keep them calm. Hmm. Now, a manger. Let's look at the manger itself. Let's look at the manger, beloved. All right. A manger is where they take the sheep to eat. Sheep and other animals. Hmm. A manger or trowel is a rack for fodder or a structure or feeder used to hold food for animals. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Yeshua HaMashiach is laying in a manger. He's laying in a manger. Remember, the spirit is abundant, even in its meaning, its literal and figurative meaning, beloved. Hmm. All right. Now, who did Yeshua HaMashiach say that he was? The word of life himself. Who did he tell the people he was? Let's see. We are in the book of John, chapter 6, at the 32nd verse. Book of John, chapter 6, verse 32. I'm sorry. Book of John, chapter 6, 32nd verse. Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my Father giveth you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of Yahuwah is he who cometh down from heaven, and giveth life unto the world. This is Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus talking. Now we're in the book of John chapter 6. We're going down to the 35th verse. And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. Mm. He that cometh to me shall never hunger. And he that should believeth on me shall never thirst. Wait a minute. I'm trying to find... Where he says, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. I'm trying to find where he's talking about, okay, all right. I've got to go to Book of John. I'm still in the sixth chapter. I'm going to the 53rd verse. Book of John, chapter 6, verse 53. Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus is still talking. Verily, verily, I say unto you, except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, ye shall have no life in you. Whosoever eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me, and I in him. Hmm. Now, let's look at where he's born. They laid him in a manger. A manger where they feed sheep and other animals. What did Yeshua HaMashiach say 
to the apostle Peter. Feed my sheep. Do you love me? Feed my sheep. Do you love me? Feed my sheep. He was telling him, feed them the word of the most high. My word. Okay? My word. He's laying in a manger, knowing that's where sheep come to eat. Because he is that bread of life come down from heaven, beloved. He's laying where the sheep come to eat. Who are the sheep? The children of the most high God. What do we eat? Man shall not live by bread alone. Line upon line, precept upon precept. Come on. Man shall not live by, by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of, Yah of Yahuwah. Man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word, what's the word? Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus. Man shall not live by bread alone. Mm. So, and then he tells you himself. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Woo. Verily, verily, I say unto you, except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. Whosoever eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood have eternal life. And I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed. My blood is drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me and I in him. Mm, mm. As the living father hath sent me and I live by the father. So he that eateth me, he's telling you direct, mm, even he shall live by me. This is that bread which came down from heaven. Not as your fathers did eat manna and are dead. He that eateth of this bread shall live forever. He's laid in a manger. A manger where the sheep eat, beloved. He's laid. This is where they laid him at birth. He was living out his purpose from the moment he was born. From the moment he was born. He's wrapped in swaddling cloth, laid in a manger. Two meanings. He's, he's fulfilling prophecy. He's fulfilling everything. His, his very beginnings represent why he's there. Firstborn male sheep. Firstborn male sheep. Mm. The firstborn male sheep, okay, are placed in a manger. Swaddle and put in swaddling clothes. These are regular male sheep, okay? Regular male sheep. They are placed in mangers and put in swaddling clothes, okay? So that the shepherds could check them for spot and blemish, and if they had none, they would make sure those baby male sheep, firstborn, were did not get harmed so that they were suitable for sacrifice and they put them in swaddling clothes and laid them in a manger hmm. because they were going to be sacrificial lambs they had to be a firstborn male suitable for sacrifice the taking away of sins where is Yeshua HaMashiach who does Mary put in that manger her firstborn son wraps him in swaddling clothes lays him in the manger but the manger also plays another role the manger is where the sheep go to eat he said i'm the bread of life lest ye eat my body and drink my blood you shall not have eternal life mm, mm, mm. beloved the word is pregnant it is abundant it's abundant the word of the Most High. I just wanted to bring this out. It was something that always stood out to me. The Lamb of the Most High. They call him the Lamb of God. They call him the Lamb of the Most High. And from the moment he was born, he was fulfilling his purpose. He was representing his purpose. He was living in his calling. Just a word, beloved. Shalom.